Fire can burn down forests, property, human beings. The same might also go with the internet. I am Konstantinos Kakavoulis, one of the co-founders of Homo Digitalis. Homo Digitalis was founded in March 2018 by six young law professionals. We are now more than 100 members in the organization from various fields. I have been working for several years on digital rights, privacy and freedom of expression mainly. The internet brought many, many new challenges for freedom of expression, but it also brought many new opportunities. Now people can express themselves and can communicate with others in many more manners than 30 years ago. This means amelioration of some freedoms, but also threats to some others. When an algorithm is trained, it is trained according to the beliefs of its developers. If a human being discriminates against a race, a sexual orientation, a religious belief, then the algorithm will also learn to discriminate. In a social media context, discrimination can happen really easily. Based on your age, your gender, your place of residence, you can get different advertisements and offer different types of products and services. For example, that I'm supposed to be a rich white male, I can get specific access to suggestions by the algorithm, while a, a poor female will not get the same suggestions When we discovered the existence of the Facebook Content Moderation Center in Athens, one of our attempts was to see if an algorithm was being trained behind all the content moderation being done with human intervention. What we did with Homo Digitalis is to expose this activity with the cooperation of a local newspaper and we really got the attention of the public that mostly didn't knew that one of the content moderation centers is in Athens. In the end, I'm not saying that content moderation is just a threat, it's also a protection. But the process of the content moderation should be transparent and by no means to be left to an algorithm. In my opinion, it's very important to constantly be wide awake because maybe it seems like privacy and freedom of expression is indeed protected but maybe behind the curtains something uh, risky or strange is happening. We always have to think that the internet was created by a human for the humans. And we also have to bear in mind that despite some faulty action that we may encounter, is actually the steam engine of our societies at the moment. The future of the internet lies with its users and their awareness. When we interact with young children who are digital natives, meaning that they were born and raised in the digital environment, we both learn from them, but we also are happy to teach them how they should behave in the digital environment. Although we might be using many legal means, we firmly believe that the only non-legal means that is powerful enough and also global and can provoke real change is human conscience. 100% protection of privacy or freedom of expression is kind of utopic. Day by day, step by step, we really want to get to this point. Utopia is something that is nice to fight for, isn't it?